Installing some mini twists y'all I haven't done mini twists in so long but my hair needs a whole break I haven't just I haven't been taking care of it like I should be like I used to um, and I realized one of the reasons my hair had been struggling is because I I had put any mini twists in my head in so long and you guys know I love mini twists mini braids especially so I'm actually going to do something that I haven't done in like five years, which is I'm gonna add some hair. Y'all see these little pieces of hair? Some hair to my mini twist. Not every single twist will have extra hair added. I'm gonna show you guys how I kind of like space it out. The air might kick in. Y'all might hear our AC, it's so loud. The reason I'm adding in hair is because my hair is fine. My twists be skinny, they be like little puny twists. There's nothing really I can do about it. You know what I mean? I do have um, just finer hair. And with that comes thinner twists. They're not so juicy and luscious and yada, yada, yada. So I am still okay with that. I am an advocate for wearing your hair as it is. But this go around, I just want a little bit more fullness in my hair. All right, guys, so of course I have my clips here. I have my tangle teaser, rat tail comb, edge comb right here. I got some curl enhancing smoothie for some moisture. I also have the Basque moisture cream that I've been using for forever. I have the same company that does the neat braid gel. It's the pure hair solution. So I guess it's their product. I have their, of course, the neat braid gel right here. And then I picked this up at my local beauty supply store. This is the lock and twist gel. So yeah, so I just have both of these. And I also have the B gel, you guys, from the Do. I love this stuff. It's so good. Um, I don't know how much of this I will be using because this is going to just shrink my hair back up. I'm not necessarily going for length either this go around. I'm kind of going for a little bit more fullness, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to use this on a couple braids and see what we looking like. So yeah, so the hair I've already started to kind of put into pieces. You want to make the hair super small. So I have this kinky hair from Amazon, right? I will put it down below because you get a lot of hair. You get like six packages or something like that. Honestly, you only need one pack. So this should last you for quite a while. You want to pick up some hair like this, you guys. What I'm going to do is just pull out a strand. So this is how long one strand is. So I'm going to take one strand and I'm going to cut it in half. So now I got two. One of these should make at least for me, um, in my size that I like, four braids. So I'm gonna pull, and you wanna pull fast and put it down. The slower you pull, the more tangles and stuff you may get. So I try and pull pretty fast in the middle so that it just kind of comes apart. That's two, this is three, this is actually four. So it's kind of a lot of hair. So I'm just gonna take a little bit out because I want everything to be uniform. So that made four braids, this will make another four. And of course you can always pull the ends to break up the bluntness. So let's start on this side. All right, y'all, so I'm just gonna give you guys some tips that I have if this is your first time adding hair or doing mini twists, period. Um, best thing to do is work in smaller sections and also start around the perimeter and then work your way towards the crown. So I went on ahead and moisturized my hair really well. I then added a small amount of gel. You don't wanna overdo it with the gel, you guys, because it could cause some slippage. And then I'm just gonna twist in opposite directions, like a Senegalese twist, right like at the base. You can also just braid it. Um, and then I do that for about an inch. And then I just kinda loosely, not loosely, but I just kinda regularly twist the hair going all the way down. And I'm not gonna make this super long. I'm just going the length of my natural hair and that's why I cut the excess off and then just swirl the ends and you got your first braid. So this is what I'm showing you guys that I'm not necessarily going for length here. I'm keeping the same length as my natural hair. And I went on ahead for this first section for this first little row um, and added in extra hair. 
And you wanna make sure when you're twisting all the way down to really twist the full length of the braid and add gel while you're twisting. For this next row, you guys, I'm gonna start with my edges. A big tip when it comes to edges is take out more hair than what you actually pulled apart, especially if you have weaker edges, they're thinner. I do this just to make sure there's no extra weight on my hairline. So um, adding it in here with this braid, twisting all the way down, y'all. Um, these next two braids that I'm gonna do on this row, I'm not gonna add any extra hair in. So it's kind of up to you how you wanna do it. I felt like they didn't need anything extra. Um, they were nice and full as you go back within my hair. My hair gets nice and full as you go to my nape. So I was like, okay, this is cool. Kind of just add in hair where you need to. Um, um, kind of sporadically and that's the key to making your mini twists look like they just come straight from your scalp the hair is all yours also another big thing that i get whenever i do my braids this tiny is like there's uh, i'll get like oh they're too small or my hair will end up matting up or something along those lines that you guys kind of say um, and honestly your hair shouldn't mat up your hair shouldn't tangle up anything like that if you are properly installing them which doesn't take a lot you don't have to be super skilled to do this y'all you just got to do it just try it and also making sure your hair is hydrated um, you use enough gel and it's nice and neat and also the biggest tip i have for you is when they're in your hair when you actually have your mini twist in make sure you are keeping your hair nice and hydrated it's still moisturized all that great stuff so sleep with your bonnet silk scarf silk pillowcase um, make sure you're adding you know some type of spray whether it's water-based or whatever you want to call it cream just keep your hair nice and moisturized and when it's time to take this down you shouldn't have any issues as far as matting or tangling or anything like that goes also, if you need to start on blow dried hair, you can do that. I did not do it this go around, but I've done it plenty of times before. There's not a big difference to me. When I have done this on blow dried hair, I'm just, it's just easier to part and I get um, a little bit more length, but that wasn't my objective this go around. So that's why I didn't do it. Um, like I said, it's not necessary. So y'all throughout the rest of my head, I did the same thing, adding less hair towards the back because it wasn't needed. And then I just, ended up using that b gel on the ends of my hair to keep it nice and curly and the b gel is really hydrating for a gel it's like really moisturizing so i just twisted that right along the um, ends of my hair to give it some curl um, and so this is how i'm looking after everything is all said and done i love the outcome of it they're still pretty small which mimics my fine hair they're not super thick twists to me and they just look really really good so i'm so happy with the result you guys make sure you you check the description box for all the products that I use, the hair that I use, gels and whatnot. And don't go anywhere. I'm gonna give you guys um, some few tips and my final thoughts on this. All right guys, so here is the final look of my mini twist. I love doing this style. It just looks very natural to me because my hair is fine, like I said before, and these aren't like really big jumbo kind of twists. They just kind of blend right on in and just looks like my natural hair, basically. I'm a little restricted with this shirt, so my hands are like down here, so just bear with me. I don't know how many twists I have. I will, maybe I'll count them, check the description box, they'll be down there. I didn't end up using a lot of of like additional hair I'll spin around and give you guys some closer looks in a bit for the back of my head and for the middle it's mainly just my hair I really didn't need that extra help I really like I said needed it um, in the front of my head because my hair is a lot thinner in the front versus the back the hair ends up being perfect like I said you should get a lot of installs from this because they give you like six packs the texture of it um, was absolutely perfect for my hair. There's no unraveling. It just blends right on in. So if you're a 4B, 4C girl, this is going to blend right on in. It should blend right on in seamlessly for your mini twist. The gels that I use also came in handy. That was my first time using one of them, the Pure Lock and Twist. It was something like that. Um, I will put those two down below. Y'all, my hair feels good. I don't feel like these are going to unravel anytime soon. They're just the perfect density. They're the perfect length. They're the perfect everything. I can still wear a wig if I wanted to. And also the main thing, you guys, 
is I can still get to my scalp. I can still get to my hair. My hair always does so much better when it's in mini twists. I'm just able to keep it moisturized, sealed, keep my scalp nice and healthy a lot longer. And I actually end up seeing that length retention whenever I do mini twists. No other style gives me the length retention that mini twists does. I did finish this within a day. It took me about six hours, give or take. Five and a half, six hours, no more than six, I would say, to finish my entire head, which I'm cool with because y'all, I just been waking up and going lately. So I am happy with this style. I always am. I know I haven't put mini twists in my head all year. I wanna say it's been about eight months and that is so not like me. So I gotta get back on my mini twist train. Choo -choo. Anyways, that's it. Check the description box. Everything that you need will be down there for you to achieve this style. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments, anything like that. Make sure you subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. Somebody's heaven, tell me who.